Hi students! This lesson is for second and third grade students. We are going to do a fall tree in the cubist style. A popular cubist was an artist like Pablo Picasso and he used geometric shapes to make pictures and we're going to use geometric shapes to make a fall tree. And so we're going to draw I'm going to use my ruler, and so for this project, a ruler is helpful, but if you have a straight edge, such as a piece of cardboard or something like that, it'll work too. You don't have to measure anything. So I'm just going to use my ruler, though, and I'm going to draw a tree trunk on my paper just by using two curved lines. And then I'm going to use the ruler to make a line across the ground that we call, sorry I'm getting a marker, oh goodness, okay, that we call a horizon line. And so I'm going to make a line, I'm going to avoid my tree and make a line on this side and a line on this side. And then I'm going to take the top of my tree and I, th I want my tree to go up at an angle so I'm going to make a diagonal line this way. We're going to have a canopy which means a tree that covers the whole top of the sky where we are. Okay so I have a line this way and a line this way. So This is my ground, that's my trunk, and this is my tree. And so then I'm going to take this, I'm going to move this down just a little bit. I'm going to take this point right here and I'm going to make another diagonal line and this will become a triangle. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side and this will become a triangle. So you see I have a triangle, an open space, and a triangle. And so now I'm going to do another diagonal line and these don't have to be just like mine they can be kind of wonky if you want them to be as long as they're straight lines and you have them ending at a point so you can see that I have a lot of triangles here and then on the bottom I have a lot of space here too so what I'm going to do now is break up each of these spaces into other triangles and so the shape that we're using is a triangle. It can be a little bit, doesn't have to be um, all measured perfectly. Each triangle doesn't have to measure the same space. So I'm just using my ruler and I'm having fun doing my triangles. And I think I'm going to do one this way. And do this way. And uh oh, there we are. Messed up a little bit right there, so we'll just fill that in. Okay, so we have, and you could split those up into smaller triangles if you want to. I kind of wanted a bigger one so that I could um, use a lot of different colors. And so this is going to represent our leaves on our tree. And I actually forgot to do this guy right here. I'm going to draw a line across here. And I think I'm going to draw a line this way. And... So now I have ended up with a little bit of a parallelogram in the middle, but that's okay. I can make those triangles very easily. I'll just make a line this way. Okay, so I have all of my triangles, and I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom, and then I'm going to pause the video or the recording and then show you what it's going to look like um, when it's done for the next step. 